Okay. Um, you asked me to do a brief explanation on how written retinoscopy works, and here I am. So I have my link open on the the game that I gave you, and first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to cover the patient information formula so I can test myself. Okay, I can change this to two and I'll click on the, um, the dice here so I can get a random patient. Okay, so um, as you can see here we've got a width motion as we are sweeping and you can see a break. It's like the red reflex is not exactly aligned with our beam. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate my beam so that it would be exactly on um, exactly aligned with the um, the red reflex. Sometimes it takes a while, but I think I got it here. So I've got 170, and of course the other um, meridian will be 80. Okay. Um, we're gonna add a plus, and uh, I don't know if you can see this, but it's a little dim, so obviously it's um, a high hypropia. So let's just go a little high. Okay, that's a little too high, because you see an instant motion here. Let's go a little further down. Got width against, so it's plus four. Hopefully we can get it. Okay, there we go. So, plus 4 at 170. Okay. We'll go at 80 degrees now. So, 85. 70. 90. Okay, this is going to take a oh. here you can see a negative motion. We can do it with sphere sphere but for now I prefer to do it sphere cylinder because it's easier. I'm going to align. You can see right there there's um, our the axis of our um, cylinder lens. So let's just go ahead and look with the, the axis of the beam which is 80. There we go. So still against, we're going to add a bit more minus power, still against and neutralization. If we did get it right it would mean that we have neutralization in all meridians. So we have neutralization at 90, we have neutralization at 180, we can have neutralization at any meridian or any axis you've got here. Okay. So let's see what we have. Let's see the, the formula. We have a sphere. Remember the sphere, this one? Um, it was 4. So you say plus 4 minus 2, which is the working distance, and you've got plus 2. And then you just add, you just directly add um, the values of the cylinder lens, which are uh, minus 2 axis 180. So, final formula will be plus 2 for the sphere, minus 2 axis 80. Let's check. Plus 2, minus 2 axis 80. We're going to be taking the minus cylinder form as we, um, st uh, as we fixed the um, one plus meridian with the plus sphere. Okay, that's why we got the minus cylinder form. And that's what we usually use. So that's the sphere cylinder method. I hope you um, have a clear uh, an image of what you're supposed to do during the test. And good luck.